Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Amnesia. Never played this game, ever. Never even seen anybody play it. I just know this is a very popular horror game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start a new game. I've never played this in my life. Never seen anybody play it. And even that looks creepy. <laughs> Even the loading screen looks creepy. And that's that's a good sign. I mean, if you like horror games, it's a real good sign. All my lights are turned off and Don't I have headphones and Sometimes it's very loud. Be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. Okay. My name is Daniel. I Hi Daniel. At, at, uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't, Don't forget. forget. I must stop him. Must stop him. Focus. Focus. My name is Daniel. Is. I am Daniel. Daniel. I am Daniel. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Do I have amnesia? <laughs> that wouldn't be surprising. Amnesia. Whoa. Oh, those are just flower petals. Pretty, pretty flower petals, and it's storming. Why did flower petals just fall out of the sky? That's my question. That's kind of confusing. Ooh, so lovely. Oh, am I playing now? I'm playing now. Um, a memento has been added to your journal. J for quick access to to your mementos and make sure press M make sure to check these whenever you get stuck M. follow the liquid trail and find the f source where what does J do notes diaries and mementos where diaries no diaries notes no notes and I have one memento what is this Thomas Grip my Hi. name is Thomas Grip, and I'm one of the co-founders of Original Games. I worked with engine code, gameplay code, design, and many other things. Oh god, I'm scared. In my commentaries, I will mainly focus on the design behind the different parts of the game. I hope you'll enjoy Ooh. them. Press right mouse to throw it, hold down R and move mouse to rotate the object. Okay, R. Okay, it's pretty cool. Die plant. <laughs> That's fun. No tender boxes left. I don't know which way I should. Oh wait, yeah, it said follow the liquid trail. I would do that. I gotta explore. Exploring. Oh god, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna pee myself because I have to pee anyway. Hold down left mouse button and move the mouse in order to move the door. Press right mouse to shut, to throw the door open or shut, depending on the direction to your, you face. Oh. Oh, that's a tinder box. Okay. Okay, so I found a tender box. I'm breathing really creepily and I'm like limping around. Should I have wasted that? Probably not. Can I pick this up? No, I can't I can't pick up the candle. So I guess I'm not gonna be seeing. Oh, that's kinda creepy. That's creepy. The name of this level is Rainy Hall, and it's supposed to be a combination of atmosphere setter and tutorial for the player. We wanted the player to start the game in a slow way so they could settle in and get used to how the game works. Amnesia is not a game with constant action happening all the time and we wanted to have a constrained map where the player gets used to this. The only thing you need to do is to follow the track and get to the end of the level. Also, following tracks is something that becomes very useful in later levels so we try to teach players this from the start. Thank you, Thomas Grip. You, you're creeping me out. Oh, am I just like passing out? Okay. Oh, whoa. What, what happened right there? Oh, was I like 
Am I so weak I was getting pushed or something? What's this? Can I open this giant door? Oh no, I shouldn't have opened that giant giant door. What just what just happened? I'm scared. I'm scared. What's happening? Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh no. It's just um Oh no, that scared me. <laughs> that shirt. I thought it was like that chick with long black hair. You know that chick. Okay, tinder boxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current number of tinder boxes in show is shown in your inventory. That's my heart. All is good. Sanity is crystal clear. One tinder box and a journal. Wow, that is very gruesome. Okay, I don't trust this at all. Hey, there's another tinder box and a broom. You're coming with me. You're coming with me, Mr. Broom. Door open. Yeah. Time to Time to go through the door. Mr. Oh, I am breathing. I don't like breathing. Breathing is bad. Okay, that's just the broom. That's just the broom. That scared me. I thought something was breaking other things. I was, like, my eyes were wide open, and I was all like, <laughs> and my heart just started pumping out of my chest, and then, like, I was all like, whoa, blah, blah. Broom, broom, no, no, it's broom. I don't know what that was all about. I don't like this. Mm. <laughs> I'd rather go that way. Brim. Brim. No. Get away from me. Beware. When standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on the lights in the environment. If only I knew how to do that. Using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. Okay. Good tip. Good tip. Thank you. Old archives. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't too tough. Thought you were tough, but guess what? You actually weren't. Guess I'm just gonna like start a timer. No, no, too late. This is one of the first levels that we created for the game, and it was initially part of the Arcast level, which we will reach in a bit. And Nisha started out with a pretty different design, and when we redesigned it, the maps did not fit. This caused us to split them up and scatter them out. So in the first design, mm. after this corridor, the archives level oh, was I like Thomas tall, Grip. and the room lying there now was built much later. In fact, the first designs did not have Daniel waking up with an amnesia at all, and it was actually added later on. In the first the story draft, Daniel still had hidden memories, but he was unaware of this at the start of the story. However, as we redesigned things, we found the waking up with amnesia thingy, although a bit cliche, much more fitting. 
Thank you, Thomas. Come on, books. Oh, no. Witnessing unsettling events can decrease your sanity. Slight headache. Okay, that doesn't seem good. Is that like silverfish or something? Yeah, I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I'm scared. Tenderbox, help me. Any sources of light? Apparently not. Thomas Grip, I need you. I need your help. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Oh, I'm going very insane. Thomas? 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 Hi there. My name is Luis Rodero. I mostly let You're not Thomas! Level at times, and perhaps the main reason why the rest of the core team at Fictional Games is pretty much forced to speak English at our internal meeting. Lantern. Because I am the only non sweet here. Now, what a Spaniard is doing with a bunch of Swedish guys is a whole different story Ooh. than what we're discussing today. Ooh. By the way, I will be talking most about tools and scripting. Hope you like it. Sweet. Open. Open sesame. Oh my god, please. Give me the tinderbox. Please. Helps me with light and insanity. Pick it up. Yes. <laughs> Lantern. You're coming with me. The editors themselves went through a lot of design changes during the development. Not that many in visual appeal as in internal stuff. Like data structures and handling. Mm. This happened oh, mostly because at the beginning we only knew the little papers the basic stuff me. that needed to be in them. And as they grew in features and functionality, they started to kind of fall apart. Mostly due to my big lack of previous experience in projects like this. Right now I loud what the hell still sounds in my head when I look at some parts of the code, but I'm still proud of them. They can also get a bit buggy at times, but hopefully this won't happen again in the future. And I already got some nice ideas for the next iteration of the two. Well, oh, okay, good for you, Lewis. I, I like Thomas better. Where's Thomas? Sorry, Lewis, if you're watching this. But Thomas is just, you know. <laughs> what is going on? I'm so confused. I'm going insane and I have amnesia. Okay, I understand that part. Hello, Mr. Box. Um, got a candle if I want to light that. I also have a furnace and a lantern. There's no oil left in your lantern. You need to find oil potion and use it to make the lantern work again. Okay. Tinder box. What is this? A rug. Rug. Where's Broom? Broom! <gasps> There's Broom! <laughs> I didn't even see Broom. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go! What's in here? Hello! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We please look at. Oh my god. Never mind, Michael, I guess. August, I wish I, I wish could I could ask you how much you, much you remember. I don't know I don't if, know if left there I will be anything drink. left after I consume this don't drink. Be afraid, don't be afraid, I Daniel. Why, I can this. tell you. I can't I tell you why, but forget. know this: I try choose to, to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander, <laughs> Alexander Brinnenberg, still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this would sound horrible. 
Go to Inner Sanctum, find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours young and strong. He would be no match for you. Okay, kill Alexander. One last thing. A shadow is following. It's a li living nightmare. Breaking down reality. I've tried everything, and there's no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. That's horrifying. He must both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your so, there's something following me. I think we can all feel the story kick starting as we finish the letter from Daniel. The game itself is just filled with confusion. And I think we're really doing the player a service, keeping it simple in the beginning. Basically try to take your revenge on Alexander, that is the premise of the game. You don't really need to dive any deeper than that, but hoping that the player will care about the story, they have the entire game in front of them to decide if they think killing Alexander is justified or not. Okay, so get Alexander. Yeah, from what that guy said, he's old and weak and puny. I won't kill a weak dude. That's kind of Rudy McDoody. Lever. Lever. Okay. More bugs. I think I think those are silverfish, like from real life, not Minecraft or anything. Open this door. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just oh man, I didn't get to read that. It's not like way too dark over here. To run, hold left shift. I'm moving. They're telling me how to run. I'm scared. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come. Hello, my name is Martin <laughs> Kendler. I'm a video artist and level totally... creator at fictional games. I don't believe I have. It, I'm reading down here on the bottom of the screen. Um. Shut up. <laughs> Most precious chamber. Okay, down. there we go. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Okay, let's see how it's. Oh, I'm cl crystal clear. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I I didn't really comprehend what that guy said because. I was trying to comprehend the story, the guy that was like the evil sounding dude, but instead the developers, like, developer man, why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you, come here, crate, come, I like the sound that that makes though, watch, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Doesn't look like that's happening. Okay, doesn't look like I'm going through there anytime soon. Kobe! Oh, yeah. Shut up! <laughs> Sanity is crystal clear. I'm saving up my oil. This is Lewis again. Scattered throughout the game, you can see some signs written in Latin. The reason for using it is that it was considered a language of culture and science, as most scientific and philosophy authors wrote their works and treatises in it. As we are dealing with a castle dwelt by a pretty smart guy that has been. Okay, so I need to learn Latin to play this game. Sounds about right. Now let's do that so my sanity will stay. Okay. That's kind of creepy how things are just like. What is that? What is that? What's going on here? What's happening? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it's so dark. I'm gonna lose my sanity in real life because it's so dark in my room. <laughs> Ooh, I, s I saw you up there. I saw you up there trying to hide from me. 
Trying to hide from me. The particle editor is also a fine part of the tool bundle, and it is what we use to create particle effects for maps and events. We use particles to do nice effects like the flames in torches and the, and the smoke that comes out from them. All we have to do is add one or more particle emitters, set up some parameters like starting position and speed, on all sorts of tailings in size, color or speed. It's funny how you can simulate all kinds of effects with such simple elements. I very much recommend you to try it yourself. Blech, blech. I mean, I think I'm gonna stop, like, listening to these guys. From wine to acid. Oh, god, what's happening down there? I don't have any legs. <laughs> what's happening down there? Sorry, I'm... Um... Oh, Thomas, no. In early concepts, <laughs> this was meant to be Sorry. a sort of wine testing room and directly connected to the wine cellar. The reason for the whole wine testing thing was that we planned on having more lab laboratories that? and layer levels, so a lab here as well felt kind of strange. Then things changed, and only one lab was left in the design, so we changed the name to laboratory instead. The whole wine testing facility that got cremate dangerous acid always felt kind of strange anyways. Okay, I just wanted to listen to him before I read this. This is my third attempt to produce artificial... Vitae. I don't know how you pronounce that. Vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cooperite, cooperite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia <laughs> instead of aqua fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. I don't understand a word he's saying. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and produce, proves impractical to put to use to any use except as detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Oh God. I see you down there. Trying to hide from me, Mr. Tinderbox. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fill it with. Wait, can I just like. Fill it even more? There we go. Now it should last a long time. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many a, of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to savage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so. <laughs> I hear some creepy things happening. Was that there before? I don't know. But I didn't see it there before. Let's see. I guess I have to go back. I'm scared because he said there was something following me and now I'm going back towards it. But... It's okay. I'm 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 fairly creeped out right now. Um Uh ooh. Oh man, this game. This game, I can already tell how creepy it's going to be. Oh, oh. What? What was that? What was that? That that just like made me like jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna play this more.
because yeah I see a lot of potential in how scary this game can be and um is tough and pliant can be torn by hands uh, so sorry Thomas but I'm a little busy right now being scared um there's nothing that way so I guess the only way to go is this way because I heard a lady screaming yeah it won't budge no, that's not surprising at all um, the voices are there it seems like they're there to kind of comfort you they did say at the beginning and not much was gonna happen Seems like some things are happening though, because I'm fairly creeped out. Yeah, uh, there's the archives. Seems important. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here. See you next episode. I'm gonna be peeing myself even more. Creepiest thing that happened this episode was when my character looked at the lady that just screamed. And that freaked me out. <laughs> that freaked me out like hardcore. Well. <laughs>